such a gloomy day actually but it's currently like 3 p.m. Um, I'm about to head out to pick up Coco we're gonna go for lunch slash I don't know like dinner vibes because um, it's like kind of like in the midday we're gonna have sushi you know the usual we love sushi um, this is also actually gonna be her birthday kind of like lunch it's like my treat I wasn't here when she had her celebration so I'm actually going to Toronto mid-October to um, apartment hunt so that is what the plan is um, it's coming up pretty soon so I'm really excited about that so yeah I'm gonna check back with you guys later also my outfit is um, a skims top sunglasses and like some urban outfitters like little sweats so I'm gonna show you guys later and then I'm wearing my loafers also it's already fall so I need to get my nails done I'm not sure what I'm getting done yet but needs to be done um, I might go this week maybe or next week if I have time so look what they did <laughs> the birthday gal I look like her bodyguard <laughs> First of all, I literally was just here yesterday. I love how uh, they're probably gonna be like, oh, you're back. <laughs> Beauty, like look you're at those high. curves, okay. Anyways, so Cokes is OOTD. Every God is I don't know what the fuck it says on the police, man. I don't know who God is. We have relocated because um, <laughs> trying to take pictures for Coco, but the lighting was so <laughs> terrible. <laughs> So uh, we had to wait for our reservation because like it opens at like 4.30 and so we are going to head there now and eat because we're hungry. So I got some oysters to start. Me and Kogo literally always order oysters. We love like oysters. Alright so we got our main meal. Um, we both got ribeye steaks. And we got a mashed potato side and poutine. She's pregnant. Yeah. Honestly, I'm like a good type of form, like not bloated. I'm super bloated. That's not good. It's a new song, right? New-ish. Yeah. 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 Of course I know this one. What do you mean? The one in the one song. Ready? Never gets old. That was me in Vegas. I was like, the dog does say that. Now I don't lose my mind. Now I don't lose my mind. Now I don't lose my mind. Now I know you lie. Now I know you lie. Now I know. Cause the doctor said I bought my liver. I've been drinking, smoking cigars. He want my number, had to hit him with the mm -mm. Fantasizing, got him feeding for this mm -hmm. Thick thighs, got him busting out the jeans yeah, Real dope vibe, turn these niggas into fiends yeah, I like them nasty, uh-huh, uh -huh. bad <laughs> Baby, you never worry about what I do. I'll be coming home back to you every night, doing you right. But there's no store to rub here. There's no store to rub it. Maybe an apple, that's it. True. Anyways, Anyways, we are currently at the mall. Yeah. Literally, I don't know why. But yep. Can you stop? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the king, 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 king. His arms deflated. Yo, See, it's not big anymore. <laughs> So I'm just going to be wearing this jacket. 
jackets because I don't want to get cold. So we are gonna try and grab some breakfast before we head into my first appointment. Okay, so I am back in Calgary and I wanted to kind of like pop in just to kind of explain all the apartments that I viewed and I wanted to show you guys all of them and so so I only really got to view two different apartment buildings. So we're gonna start off with the first one. Um, this got a lot of sunlight and it was also really nice because it also had the view of the highway and it faced south I believe but this is like a very tiny square footage which I didn't really get to appreciate because of how tiny the living room area is. Um, I wanted that to be a little bit more spacious. I do get a balcony as well so this is a two bedroom two bath I believe and all of these rooms that I'm gonna show you guys in this apartment building are all on the seventh floor because that was like the viewing floor I guess because they're still kind of like finishing up um, building the building so all of the rooms that I'm pretty much gonna show you guys are new and like hasn't been rented out to anyone at all so I found that really nice but like this first one is definitely like a no for me moving on to the second one in the same apartment building um, I really like the kitchen layout as you guys can tell very modern I love a good sleek um, a, a kitchen but the only thing with this um, kind of like unit is it I think like face north and that basically means it doesn't get a lot of sunlight like direct sunlight like in the actual room and I didn't really like that and as you can tell I'm also like facing like other buildings which I didn't really like I wanted like a view um, so this apartment doesn't get a view but I do like that it's a two bedroom two bath with a walk-in closet so the selling point of this unit for me is that it has a really nice walk-in closet so I can put a lot of my stuff in there and have it all organized and nice and stuff but at the same time the view is like really not doing it for me so this next one is going to be their corner unit so you know like it is a pretty open space it seems more open because of all of the windows but um, at the same time the windows face north so yeah this one also face like other apartment buildings that like, kind of like obstructed the view so I didn't really like that as well um I don't know like most of those units really wasn't like a wow for me but it is around downtown so it was you know closer to kind of like the main area of Toronto I don't know so this next apartment building is actually um, at North York so it's going to be a drive to get to downtown even though like I'm not really obliged or I don't really have responsibilities to be within the downtown area I feel like it would be best to like be in the downtown area if I were to move to Toronto so all these units I'm about to show you guys are mostly corner units but I also did view a penthouse so okay so first starting off with the first unit um, so this one was at the 18th floor um, this was a two bedroom two bath the only thing that I don't like which is kind of like fixable is the walk-in closet. I don't like the layout of the actual walk-in closet, so I can change that if I wanted to. Um, this had the dark color scheme. It has kind of like the wooden, like a dark wood um, kitchen, but you guys like look how open it is. I really like the pillar that's also at the corner. It gives the room more character, but I really do like the view much better. It's such a wide space. Like I can fit more things in the actual living room space, which is really nice. Um, the kitchen again just like kind of like a dark wood color and moving on to the second one um so basically for this one i viewed three different corner apartments in this apartment building but all of them kind of face different ways but so this is the second one it's pretty much on the same type of view but like just like different kind of like views i guess um this was like higher up as well um and then moving on to the third apartment unit um this one is kind of like my favorite i think it has the lighter backsplash or like color scheme and then the living room area is like stunning like i think this is my favorite one but i really like how the sun is like coming in the apartment you know what i'm saying like i need that light i need sunlight and then for the last unit that i viewed it was a penthouse this one is not a corner unit so it's kind of like just like a window and also only has one bedroom 
and a walk-in closet, which is really nice. So, so for this one, you walk in, you get to see the kitchen, which is kind of like more of a gray white color scheme. Um, it also is a little bit bigger, I think, and more kind of like sleek because like the fridge is kind of like hidden within the cupboards. Um, and then you see the view and I am pretty much going to be at like the very top floor if I were to get this penthouse. It also has one washroom or shower. It has like marble floors, marble kind of like backsplash for the shower. It has one bedroom, so this is the master's bedroom, I guess. It also has like the really nice, you know, windows and the really nice walk-in closet like i love like a good layout for a walk-in closet because i feel like my clothes are just going to be like more organized and you know so to sum up kind of like my overall kind of impressions i didn't really like the first apartment building because it really did not have like the views that i wanted and so the second apartment building is further away from downtown which is why i'm not sure if i'm completely sold so i basically um hired a realtor and we're working through looking at new apartments and me coming down to toronto again to view some because i'm not gonna settle for just like you know like i don't want to settle yet so i'm gonna go ahead and continue guys on to the rest of the video So, casual little room tour as you walk in. You got the TV over here. Um, this is the bed area. And then obviously, because I'm here with Margiela, I love them so much if you guys are watching. I love you. They always have like the best like little presents. So here we got like a little charcuterie box. Um, and then some Polaroids of just like my pictures. So cute. Um, and then Margiela, dear Colleen, so glad you're here. I look forward to meeting you tomorrow, hosting you for a fall escape. Got my little fall itinerary over here. So we've got all this for tomorrow. Um, I don't really have much today, so that's why I booked a couple of things for me to do today. But um, I also got the Margiela perfume, which they're um, launching, their autumn perfume. But in here, what do you got? Got some mittens. And then got this box, I believe, which is the perfume. So they came out with the Replica Autumn Vibes perfume. This is our view. Just like down the street. And then the washroom, you guys, is actually very cute. Okay. First of all, look at the tiles of the washroom and bathroom. I don't know what people call it here. Oh my gosh, they have Lalabo. So this is a washroom. I can't wait to shower in the shower. How cute. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I have to show you guys. <laughs> which is pretty phenomenal. Um, I look like a... This is what we look like. <laughs> um, I can't really show you guys the full outfit, but you get the gist of it. We're ready to go. And I met this girl while walking out to the parking lot one day, and I didn't know what to say. You know, so, so, like, you know, I didn't want to not say anything because she was super attracted to her so I kind of just said something silly about the traffic about how crappy it was
gonna say hi. hi. So this is Marie, guys. Um, she's basically like a stylist at Essence yeah, Montreal, exactly. and she booked me in for an appointment. So these are like all the clothes that she picked out for me. We got the Bottega Sunnies, Rick Owens, and look at her outfit. Like she just gets it. <laughs> So I walked around my block. I went to Essence because I had a little bit of a styling appointment with Marae who contacted me on Instagram and I was originally planning on coming in anyways. So I booked a little styling appointment with her. She kind of curated a bunch of pieces for me to try on, but I was eyeing these like Bottega sunglasses for so long now. So I finally bought it. I feel like it's such a staple for like every outfit um, and even like running errands and stuff like that. But so a cute little shout out to Marae. She's also my Filipino queen. She literally like knows my mind and knows what I wanted and like everything that I tried out was so beautiful. But I will show you guys what I got from Essence. They gave me this little Essence magazine with Pharrell. Lovely. And so I got these Bottega Sunnies which I am in love with. Like I can, I'm literally gonna wear them like right now. I'm actually going to dinner with this girl that I, I have actually like worn one of her um, designs. So I'm gonna go meet her and go for dinner. Like. <laughs> a happy purchase. So I'm gonna try and kind of like maybe switch up my look. I'm not sure if I'm gonna switch up my look because I probably wouldn't have time to do my hair. Alright, so we are en route to the restaurant that we're going to. I have to put it on my maps to make sure that I'm going the right way. Um, but I'll show you guys downtown Montreal. I think it's downtown Montreal, I'm not really sure. But I really like the, um, the buildings around here because it's very Parisian vibes, so. All right, so she's officially a motherfucking city girl, okay? So basically, I'm just walking. Literally, like, the streets of Montreal are just so nice. It is giving Paris, but we are now heading down to this restaurant called Monarch. I believe it's a French little restaurant. Um, it's one of her favorites, so she reserved us a seat for that restaurant. And I'm walking there because it's pretty close. It's like a seven minute walk. And yeah, I just thought like it'd be a good experience to just kind of like walk around Montreal. So that is what we are doing. The nightlife here makes me so happy because it's so nice. Like I can't get over it. Both from Prince Edward Island, and I don't know the name. So I got the main chorus. 
Um, so I got some grilled octopus, lobster. her favorite Filipino dish because she's kind of like... I'm gonna edit... Ed <laughs> I'm going to educate y'all on Filipino cuisine. We just finished well, eating my fucking ponytail. Yeah, is that... Is that, your, is that an extension or is that yeah, that's extension. She's like, don't tell it the is camera. fake hair. Like, so I literally just met her and we already like are best friends. Yeah. I'm gonna come to Toronto and... She's gonna come yeah. to Toronto and visit me because I have... Maybe you. Maybe. Look. <laughs> <laughs> That takes like half of your face. La bro. <laughs> Literally, that's how they talk to you. <laughs> what? <laughs> how does this contraption work? <laughs> pack a big jacket or anything so hopefully it doesn't get too chilly i have on this like little top and shawl situation from rube and then just like this like thrifted little vest and it's kind of like a corset little vest so yeah don't have necklaces but i got these um green cargos on again and my jordans this is our First day outfit with Margiela. I mean like I'm really only here with them for like two days So today and tomorrow is like the actual kind of like Event I guess that is the whole outfit Um, I just take content for them throughout the whole trip so and I might hang out with Gabrielle tonight if I'm not too tired um, I'll like see as the day goes because I got like only like six hours of sleep because we had a late night last night So I'm about to head down to meet like the other girls who are on the trip and Have maybe like lunch later. I honestly like have no appetite for breakfast. So Hope it looks 